Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and today we are going to review this Zima board. Alright, so what is this Zima board about? I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of Raspberry Pi and it's the most popular you know, board server that you can, can do on multiple projects on. And this is the direct competitor to the Raspberry Pi. And this, I'm going to explain why it is far more superior than the Raspberry Pi and the features itself that it has. Alright, so what I have here is the Zima Bot 432 all right so they have three different models be sure they have the 232 or the, the first model all right this is the 432 model and the other one is the 832 model all right so the difference is quite vast i think the the, the, the other model the 2 200 series model i think that one is uh, a dual core and about 4 gigs of ram all right so this is the 432 model i think is about 8 gigs of ram or store uh, 32 gigs of storage and charge Right, with a quad core Intel chip inside and the 8321 is the 8 gigs oh sorry this one should be the 4 gigs RAM the other one the 832 is the 8 gigs of RAM if I'm not wrong all right uh, the, here's a spec list you can you know, see about it all right so uh, yeah so I have here is a 432 model and um, pretty much there's not much difference around the whole range of their products all right um, it's basically if you want to need more like um, certain applications need like more RAMs or more storage all right you probably need to get a, um, a higher RAM one all right so what we get inside here all right is definitely the Zima board all right and uh, we do have this is the power adapter to power it up so um, this is what you get and I'm gonna do an unboxing with you guys to see what we get when you first receive your Zima board all right so um, the power adapter is pretty straightforward you get a uh, 12 volt 3 ampere uh, power adapter with different adapters so um, if you are anywhere around the world you can certainly use this adapter because it is interchangeable with different type of plugs that you have uh, and uh, with variable wattage and voltage so you don't have to worry about you know your socket being you know 240 volt 120 volt and such all right and we have the Zima board itself oops all right so let's, let's do a quick uh, unboxing to see what we receive inside this whole package itself okay so um, I have never opened this box before so I have no idea what we will be receiving but the packaging is really really unique alright the box just open up like this, like this it's really cool alright so we get the outer box alright and uh, inside here we have a normal cardboard box all right but it's not really the thing that what matters is the thing inside that matter so you get a quick start guide user manual to explain um, how to get started and uh, followed by we do have a, a zima board itself a nice sticker ice whale and zima board sticker so you can stick it to your project if you like it all right and we have here is a SATA cable okay so this is because this one is a DIY um, hackable board so you can do any projects on it and one of it is uh, doing a nest server so um, it's very nice I want to include this where you can connect your hard disk or even your SSD to it so um, yeah it's very straightforward you just have to just plug it in all right cause, cause it comes with both power and data cable so you just plug one in plug into the board and you can assess what's inside here or be create your own multimedia servers and stuff. so it's really really interesting very nice of them to add in this okay and um, pretty much is everything ready for you to get started and um, inside this anti-static bag we get the Zima board itself all right so my first impression on this board is um, it's really really well built and this um, this aluminium thing over here I think this acts as a heat sink because um, inside here is a mini processor as well right and it's a whole computer itself inside here so there is some sort of cooling so um yeah it's a very nice heat sink here and the fins all right be sure this is a heat sink itself uh very nicely well built very solid all right um it doesn't feel cheap you know like when you receive a raspberry pi right it doesn't even come with any sort of cooling it's just a plain pcb board with all the ios and all the you know the cpu inside raspberry but this one is come well packaged like a mini device so even if you actually drop it or what all right your internals is still being protected and um yeah overall it builds very good very very well built all right decent weight to it feels very premium when i first held the raspberry pi it just feels very cheap 
All right, and um, yeah, it's like it's a bare, bare bone PCB board that you know sometimes if you accidentally use too much force, you might break it, and such. But but yeah, so um yeah, and you know uh, Rose Raspberry Pi they sell with those casings, and you have to buy um ex externally, so you have to spend extra money to buy all this casing, and these are just plastic casing where it went. What you get here is a full aluminium heat sink right here. All right, so yeah, so this is what you get in the whole package itself. Alright, so um, now let's just move everything aside and we can talk about the Zima board. Alright, so inside here is powered by an Intel Celeron quad-core processor all right? um, with an integrated HD graphics. So the I.O. ports at the back, there is a mini um, display port or even a mini, D mini HDMI, if I'm not wrong, I can't, uh, I think it's the mini Yep, alright, so it's a mini display port over here. Alright, so it can output up to 4K at 60 Hz. So it can output to any monitor with it. Alright, so you can control the board itself. Alright, they have two gigabit LAN port right here. Alright, and two USB 3.0 ports followed by a power input. So um so yeah, this is um, what you get for the IO ports. And uh, that's not all, alright. So at the front we have a uh, two SATA ports and a power adapter, so it can multiple up to uh, two, two uh, you know storage devices like your hard disk or your SSD. All right, you can run it as a NAS storage or a multimedia server. So um, these are ports uh, are very needed. All right, and at the side here we have a PCI Express 2.0 four times slot slot. All right, so with this slot you can. Um, or add on certain devices like a Wi-Fi chip or like uh, you know uh, NVMe uh, extension, right? Um, adapter and charge with users PCIe. Right, there's a lot of expansion that you can support on this. So you can sub, um, do you know for a project whatever it needs that needed a PCIe slot, it does have as well. So basically, it, it's a complete package that you get everything. All right, whereas um, for uh, Raspberry Pi. If you want like a certain I/O ports, you have to buy the uh, extension cable or additional ports and shot, which um, they are not cheap. I'm looking up and they cost about fifty dollars, thirty to fifty dollars, or even more for some of the ports that you need. All right, but with Zima board, you get everything you need and a display output as well. So um, you know you get all in one package. You don't have to think around thinking what, oh, oh, uh, right now I'm looking at this project. Oh. You just realize you suddenly this while working halfway on the project and you have to go out and buy and sometimes you know it's not easy to find you mostly you have to order from their website and uh, most of the stores i see never sell any of the expansion stuff uh, for raspberry pi so it's a very very a uh, niche market and uh, with this you get everything so you don't have to worry about it all right and uh so what are the functions that this thing can do all right so i said before the very first function is definitely the nest storage function so if you, instead of paying like google cloud or you know amazon web server um you know a monthly like 20 dollars a month all right you can save on that and have your own home server where you can um, use it to you know access from anywhere and store your files all this into your own cloud basically into your own uh, hard disk or SSD where you connect to it. So it's basically your home uh, storage server system basically in um, layman's term. And most people are scared that they might sell your data so you don't really trust all these web, web hosting website or those cloud storage. All these, you know, you might, people might get access to your data. But with this, all right, the data you control is in your hands because all the data you store is on your home network. So. Um, so yeah, and you if you run out of storage, you can easily expand it with uh, maybe 10 terabyte hard disk. So you multiply by them, you have 20 terabyte worth of cloud storage server at your own home. Really, really neat. And you know, with the two Ethernet gigabit ports, all right, capable of six gigabits per second. All right, you can ensure there won't be any you know slowdown in transfer speed or loading time. So you can ensure that you know assessing your files through the cloud, um, through your home server cloud. This Zima board, all right. It's very very fast and accessible, right? And if you have an office and charge, and you can you can also use be used as a, a VPN to reroute it to your office server. So you make sure that there's like no unauthorized access from anyone else and not authorized to access your files, all right? Or you can use it as a streaming service, media server, 
right, as well as uh, to control your smart home devices, appliances as well. So there's not many things that you can do with this, convert into a router, you can use it to host your own website, you know, VPN, uh, media server, and home home devices. And there's, there's many, many more that you can do. All right? Because this thing is, um, basically they, they, they set it as one of the most hackable uh, board so you can do basically anything limitless to it to any project you wish to do but your school project your home project or work project all right and uh, some people use this as a a router which is uh, one of the pf assessed router that one i have not i'm not sure i to be honest i really not sure about what that do but i heard people say that um so to use all these like pf assessed um things you have like a big desktop computer to run it but uh, now I realized um, some people have been switching to Zima board to run it um, because it's for the efficiency and as well as less heat output and charge. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that you guys can do. Uh, what I would highly recommend you guys to do is to check it out if you have like a certain project that you have in mind, all right? And um, you was thinking of a Raspberry Pi, all right? I suggest you an alternative to Zima board, this Zima board. Alright, there's really a lot of functions that you can do with it. Uh, you, I highly recommend you guys check it out, okay? To read their website and to see if it supports all the things that you want to do because um, there's a lot of things you can do with it and I'm not really, alright, I'm, I'm saying here truthfully, I'm not really that knowledgeable on all kinds of stuff that it can do with it, alright? And certain things I have never done before so I couldn't say, oh, this one can definitely do this, can definitely do that, alright? I'm just saying um, what um, people have said it can be done and charged, alright, all those media media streaming, net storage, all this, alright, they even wrote it on their website that, you know, you can do those things with this, alright. But for other things, I am not confident to say that, so yeah, I recommend you guys to read it on their website, but I'm sure that this one is a really, really smart and powerful device, um, much way better than a Raspberry Pi in all these aspects, uh, and, and yeah, and it's in such a small form factor, and and there's really nothing much I can complain about. And um, and this thing is pre-installed with a Casa OS, all right. So which is one of the simple and elegant home cloud, all right, around the Docker ecosystem. So um, so yeah, and it's just a really awesome mini micro server you can get, all right, for your home and for your projects as well. So if you are really interested to check out this Zima board, highly recommend guys to check out the link in the video description down below, where you guys can read more about it and uh, definitely get one for yourself which i recommend at least a quad core model right which um you know you can do much thing at a much easier pace and you know much efficiency and much faster without any lags all right but um they are cheaper model board all right although it's dual core but um you know it still gets the work done efficiently without any amount of trouble so um yeah depending on the kind of workload you're using but i recommend it's the 432 model right, which somewhat somewhat in between the high-end model and the basic model. This is like a mid-range model. All right, so um, the, the difference between the models is not a lot, like I said before. So uh, any model you're getting is really, really um, up to you and your budget and, um, you know. And uh, yeah, overall, I recommend you guys to check out this really amazing board that I'm very grateful to have my hands on on this. All right, um, and um, you know, ever since I always wanted a Raspberry Pi and um, at least now I get this Zima board, there's really a lot of things that I can try to do with it and probably post some update video of uh, what can be done with this board. So, um, you know, as me, as, as an engineer and a computer scientist myself, I love to try around with all these really cool projects. Right, and last time I did host a like, home server uh, built on Linux on my own computer. It's really, really fun project. And maybe with this, I can really create another new home server with a net storage, multimedia system, which is really amazing. I really love to try it out. If you guys want me, I can probably post an update video in the future all right, of what I've done with this bot. But yeah, so I'm going to check it out, um, play around with it. And yeah, so once again, if you guys want to check out this bot, I'll hit the first link in the video description down below. Go ahead and check it out. And um, highly recommend you guys to get this for yourself. So um, if you find today's video really interesting, do give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want more video like this, let me know in the comment section as well. And without further ado, this is JForce Gaming, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't wanna cry.